purpose of my video today is to talk about smudging and uh, clearing your space and yourself of negative and stagnant energy. So I figure since um, all of us are probably feeling a bit stagnant, stagnant with being on quarantine for um, 5,432 days or thereabouts, we're probably ready for some smudging. Um, and regardless, just in life in general, smudging is um, a great way to clear space, um, get things back to neutral and, and invite in the positive um, with yourself, you know, your loved ones and your space. So I just really wanted to kind of walk you through the process of smudging, the tools you can use and maybe some prayers or um, just well, if you don't like the word prayer intention that you want to put out there for your smudging. So. Um, let me start by saying that um, I personally like to clean my house before I smudge. It's not something that you need to do, but I, to me, it's symbolic. I'm, I'm, I'm physically going through and I'm disrupting dust bunnies and I'm getting rid of the cobwebs I don't want and I'm, you know, getting things kind of stirred up, cleaned up, tidied up. That That's exactly what I'm going to do when I smudge. I'm going to energetically disturb the dust bunnies and move the stagnant energy and um, get things to a cleansed and in neutral space um, and in that process too uh, opening the windows open the doors if the weather permits even in, in the winter I still open them up when you're cleaning you know it, it it's airflow you're getting things moving you're bringing the inside out and the outside pushed out um, it's allowing things to release it's, it's your smoke going in and out uh, so those are things that I personally like to do when I'm smudging my house. I don't always clean my house before I smudge. Um, I don't always clean my house. So let's just be honest. <laughs> um, but anyways, so um, talk about the first tool of smudging. Um, it's traditionally used as the white sage. And not only is it, is it considered an excellent energetic cleanser, but it literally has antimicrobial properties. Properties that um, can, can literally cleanse a space um, of energy. And so Native Americans traditionally use some form of sage here in North America, and that's, that's their form of, of, of smoke plant cleansing, where you know in other cultures, Asian cultures, or other parts around the world, their cleansing and smudging is gonna be incense. So you, know, you, you choose what makes sense for you if you wanna try out smudging, or you really like that, or you want to use um, lavender or even rosemary. Rosemary is a is a lovely herb to burn too. It's considered the guardian plant for women. Um, you find what works for you. Um, I'm going to walk you through um, some items here for cleansing, neutrality, um, and, and balancing and bringing in the positive. So that's what that's kind of the process we're going to go through here. Um, so I just wanted to kind of present that and you know as far as uh, how often you smudge really is if it's at the end of every day that you need to smudge yourself smudge your car uh, then do that you know if you have a shop or if you're um, an energy worker you know I'm sure you smudge your space after each client or yourself you know so you're not carrying those things around um, it's kind of like getting a reading. I say, if it feels like it's time to smudge, it's probably time to smudge. If it feels like it's time for a reading, it's probably time for a reading. So you just kind of need to trust yourself in the process. Um, so um, after cleaning, and well, even before cleaning, I set an intention. Um, so the point of that is you're just putting out to the universe and even reaffirming to yourself, what are we doing today? You know, my intention today, you don't have to call upon anything in particular if it doesn't feel right to you. If you're not a, a, a God person, you know, you don't have to, you know, I'm, I'm calling upon God and his helpers. You don't have to say, say a particular um, entity or belief. Um, I, I have a lot of friends who um, call on the Archangel Michael. That's what makes sense for them. Um, you can call on the divine. Um, the um, energy of the plant that you're using. You can call on sacred ancestors or um, sacred and holy ones. 
Um, or you can just, you don't have to call on something in particular. You can just state your intention. My intention is to clear out the stagnant negative energy in my space to allow room for vibrations of light, health, wealth, contentment, whatever it is. So take a few minutes and, and kind of try to pinpoint what it is that your intention is. You know, does it just feel a little stagnant? Then my intention is to clear out this stagnant energy and bring in light. If that's as simple as you wanna make it, please make it your own. So setting those intentions I feel is important. Um, like before you clean, you know, the house and then, and then as you're smudging, you can walk through each space, you know, and you know, sacred and holy ones, I I'm call upon you to remove stagnant energy and cleanse the space. Um, uh, I imagine this, you know, removing the stagnant energy with this smoke up to the divine, allowing a higher, lighter vibration. Whatever, make it, make it yours, um, make it resonate with you. And um, just keep that in mind. You can light a candle when you start, kind of to focus your energy. Any of those things will work. So um, next I'm gonna walk you through each one of the items that I have here. And each one of these um, is available on my website. If you are wanting to purchase them, you can't get out or you just like something that I have, um, then, then I should be able to put the link below. <laughs> Maybe some kids help, so we'll see. <laughs> I'm getting there um, and you should be able to find these on my website but so let's get started uh, looking at um, our tools okay so here are the items that we have for smudging first of all we obviously have the white sage there's different types of sages you can use um, uh, white sage is for uh, cleansing and neutralizing the energy in your space. You can, like I said, use lavender or rosemary. Mugwort's great for dreaming. Be aware you can't just burn any dried herbs. Some of them are poisonous to burn, so please do your research before burning dried herbs of any kind. Um, this is such a beautiful smudge stick here. This is called a um, botanical budge, budge smick. Oh my goodness smudge stick. It has uh, dried seasonal botanicals on it and as well as juniper. Um, inside it has some rose and lavender and as well as white sage so um, it kind of is a multi-use smudger there. Uh, these here if you're unfamiliar with them this is Palo Santo. It literally means holy wood. It comes from South America and is traditionally used in their church and religious ceremonies. It has a great almost Pepperminty smell to it. It's real light and bright. Um, a little harder to get lit than your sage, but this is going to be your rebalancer. So if you just rebalancing the energy, it also has a, a light feel to it as well. So here's one of my faves. This is the sweet grass. Um, it has a spectacularly sweet smell. And um, also it's a bit greasy, which you would not expect that. I mean, this is dried, but to light it, it has a little bit of a grease to it, so it's kind of um, a little more difficult to light. Um, but it smells wonderful dried. It smells wonderful when it's burning. And this is going to be your vibration raiser. This is your positive energy raising the vibrations for sure. So if you're doing the three of them and you want to, you start cleansing, neutralizing, rebalancing, raising positive uh, vibrations. And then here's some items that you can use. This is a traditional abalone shell. You can see this is mine. It's been around a while. Um, it's wonderful to catch your, your ash, your little droppings of stuff, so you'll carry that. This is my fabulous bowl made by Genly Alchemy. It's a, specifically for smudging. I don't have these on my website right now, but maybe if enough people are interested, I could talk her into... Um, Sorry about my giant hand there. Uh, making some of these, you can see it just fits right in the side there. It's just beautiful. Um, but really anything will work. If you don't have an abalone shell, you don't have a special smudge bowl, don't worry about it. Use a coffee cup. You know, use an old ashtray. Um, and then a feather. You know, this is a turkey feather, and I sell these on my website. I also have some white parrot feathers. Um, but get them sustainably. If something comes to you, then that's great. But try to get them sustainably um, for your... For your smudging purposes and you don't have to use um, a feather but if that's what really speaks to you then then absolutely by all means use a feather so here's all these items
Okay, once you have your smudge stick lit, um, be aware of your smoke detectors, another reason to have your windows open. Um, we're going to walk through and do a small uh, smudging right here. So, um, sacred and holy ones, I'm calling upon you to help me cleanse this space of all stagnant and negative energy, releasing it to the divine, allowing a higher vibration of love, life, and light in this space. So I'm using my feather, but again, you know, visualize, I visualize it everywhere. It's through the drywall, it's up to the ceiling, um, it's in every space. Sacred and holy ones, I call upon you to help cleanse this space of all negative and stagnant energy, releasing it to the divine, allowing a space for positive light. So also, and it can smudge your dog off the couch. It's amazing. It just, right off the couch. Look at that. It's magic. Okay, I tried to get one of my kids to let me smudge them so I could show you smudging somebody else, but that wasn't going to happen. So, <laughs> we'll have to kind of just talk through it. Um, so, I could smudge my dog, but he literally hates the smell of smudge. Gets him off the couch. Just like that. So, smudging yourself, you know, obviously be aware of dropping hot ash in your hair, because, boy, that cleans something. Um, but you want to um, think about it scrubbing, again, your aura, um, your energy, whatever makes sense for you too. Imagery and intention are just really um, big components, I think, to rituals, to meditation, to smudging, um, all of that. So, I'm getting a glare, aren't I? Um, so you're gonna wanna start, you know? Start at your feet, you wanna do under your feet. You're removing anything I've walked through. Please remove any stagnant negative energy, any Klingons that I picked up today, anything that doesn't belong in my in my space or attached to me. I'm removing any attachments. Go around each leg. Um, if you can have somebody else do it and walk around you, that would be the best. Um, again, it's kind of like your house. Do everything around your arms, around your body. You know, picture it. It's cleansing your aura. It's cleansing your energy. No attachments, allowing that to be lifted off in the smoke to the divine. Make sure you get your feet, that's important. Okay. And if you want to do the full process of, um, sorry, that tickled my nose. Um, oh. <laughs> you can also use this to wipe away the smoke from your nose. I personally like the smell of, of sage smoke, but that's not for everybody. So, and then if you're going to do the whole process of, um, of then lighting your Palo Santo now, because remember, your sage is your um, cleanser, neutralizer, your Palo Santo, which has a really light, bright um, energy to it, as well as smell. It almost, to me, has almost a, a pepperminty smell to it. It's really lovely. Um, again, this doesn't light as quick or as easy as sage, but it's a lovely cleanser. You can follow this through your house, the same method and same way you did with your poly, with your um, sage, but now you're rebalancing. So sacred and holy ones, um, rebalance the energy in this home, having removed the stagnant negative energy, allowing in light and bright, you know? And then move to your sweet grass, which, um, see, we just wear it like this. It smells so good. Um, so usually, um, you know, you only need a little bit of this. Uh, you can buy large strips. Usually when I sell them with my smudging kits, I smell a section because, smell a section. <laughs> Apparently I'm really into the smell of these. Sell a section um, because you can relight them over and over again. Do I have one? I do. See, I, I've, I have used this one several times. It looks a little pathetic, but it still works. So, um, and this is your, um, your lightener, your positive energy, your brightener, you know? So after you've done all your others, then you come in in the end, you know, sacred and holy energy. Man, let's bring in this positivity. Let's bring in this light. Let's, let's, let's raise the vibration in here to happiness, joy, light, um, calm, peace, love. This is what this is. Um, and again, you don't have to do each one of these every time. You can just smudge one day with, I mean, uh, with your sage. Maybe you just want to do Palo Santo every day. That's completely fine. Or sweet grass. It completely is up to you. Um, the order that you want to, uh, I, I suggest the order that I, I, I had you do them, but you don't have to do that order. You don't have to do every single one. You can just do one. You can just pick and choose as you want to. Um, 
I do say if you've got spirits in your house and you're smudging to remove spirits, sometimes it can confuse them. So it can kind of um, agitate the activity sometimes. It really depends on who's there and, and why. So um, if you're comfortable, you may want to explain what you're doing. If you're doing this specifically for, um, oh, sorry, spirit work. Um, you may just want to be able to have a conversation with them um, saying, you know, I'm smudging, um, this is um, a sacred plant, and it's, it's to remove negative energy and negative intentions and stagnant energy. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, call somebody that is. Uh, I'm a medium. I know other mediums and shamans, so feel free to um, uh, send me a link through my, my shop or email me if you've got questions. Uh, leave a comment below on how you smudge, how it goes for you how often you smudge, uh, and let me know if you got any questions. Let's talk. But sending you blessings and joy and calm and peace.